What's up guys, Winter Kills here. We are back at it again with another first place locals profile. I'm here with my good friend Charlie. And uh, what deck were you playing? Sky Striker Rays Bay, baby. Absolutely. Best, uh, deck. Best <laughs> deck, baby. Anything you want to mention before we get into the profile? Uh, not too much. I just want to shout out my Twitch channel real quick, twitch.tv slash kingchizzy. Right. I do some Yu-Gi-Oh on there, but I play stream pretty much everything right. that I do. So if you are interested in other games other than Yu-Gi-Oh, come, come drop by, give me a follow. Absolutely. I'll leave a link to his Twitch down in the description for you guys to check out. But let's get into that deck profile. So we have uh, three Ray, obviously, and then one Rose. Yep. So a lot of people are on two, some are on three. I like one because the worst hands in the stack are the ones where you open multiple ways to mm -hmm. like a striker link. Yep. So I'd rather play less. The, and playing the second only increases like the uh, chance of you drawing it by a little bit. So I think one is fine. It, it worked for me today. So gotcha. Gotcha. That's all I really need. And plus with engage, drone, and roto. Yeah. Uh, one pranker chops. This never came up today. I figured it might be good in theory to like. It's like a main deck out to like certain. You know, floodgates, but yeah. it never came up, so. I was the Tri Brigade board, too, yeah. Yeah, but didn't play any Tri Brigade, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, so for hand traps, three Ash, three Bell, three Valor, mm. three Meister, and then three Imperm. My goodness. So you, this is kind of like a local meta, meta call. You need the Valor for the access lean combo, but Imperm, there's just so much Dragoon and Verde here. Oh, yeah. That, like, you, you need to play six hand traps for it. Mm -hmm. And then I chose to play Meister. I, I have been playing Nib in the main, but I just chose this because it's better against Prank Kids, mm -hmm. which I did play today. I don't think it came up once against Prank Kids, but it come, came up against Dino, which I played. Mm -hmm. So in theory, it was good. And then like I side the Nib, so uh, okay. this worked for me. Nice. And then Striker cards, one drone. The one multi roll and the one engage. These don't really need any explaining. We'd play more if we could. Uh, two booster. Uh, a lot of people are cutting this down to one. Some play two. Um, I like two because sometimes there is a lot of striker here and it's really good in the mirror. Yeah. And also it's like an extra one you can like search off shits to set in the end phase another one. So mm -hmm. it comes up sometimes. You side the second one out a lot when you don't really need it, which I did often today. Okay. Uh, two cannon, three widow, and then two area zero, and then one afterburners rounds up the sky striker spells. Uh, these are pretty all, pretty standard. Uh, two cannons fine. You don't really need the third one. It, it can be cloggy, uh, mm -hmm. and it loses the spell and trap removal. So yeah, this is perfect for me. Uh, this can be like debatable, but this comes up so much to out floodgates and things. Mm -hmm. I, I banished it off of desires once today, and I needed it to like out in Necro Valley. Yeah, but I ended up being drawing twins. That was fine. Yeah, uh, Rhoda upstart. Call by the Grave, Terraforming, and then Three Desires for the Consistency cards. Mm. Uh, this card is iffy. Um, you live or die by this card. Yep. Sometimes the banishes don't matter. Sometimes you just lose because you banish too many of your resources. But yep. every time I resolved it, it was fine for me. Uh, mm. Rota doesn't need explaining. Uh, Upstart doesn't really need explaining. Uh, Call by the Grave just is really good. Uh, you can use it to protect your like Kigari from getting hit and just yep. many other things. You DD Crow so your engage doesn't get ban or banished for off Crow. Yep. Then Terraform is just another area zero. Yep. So 40 in the main. Gotta love to see it. <laughs> gotta love to see it, baby. So extra deck, uh, three Kigari, yep. three Shiz, two Hayate, one Kaina, and one Zeke. Uh, so this seems pretty standard. Uh, some people are playing three. Uh, all the best striker players say if you are need the third, you're not playing optimally. I stand by that. Mm -hmm. uh, I play the Nightmare Phoenix in place of the third one. The third one became the Phoenix, and Phoenix just comes up more often. Yeah. And it's a little bit easier to make now with Rose, and mm -hmm. it's fine. And then we play the the package. You gotta, uh, play, you gotta play this. <laughs> this. This just closes out so many games. Access code is just really insane. Yeah. Uh, Ninjutsu just to out Dragoon and Problem cards, and then the Nightmare Phoenix is the 15th spot. So for the side deck's a little weird. You'll see in a second. So uh, the three nib that I mentioned earlier, uh, these are just matchup dependent. I didn't really want to main deck it, even though it is a really really good card. Mm -hmm. I just felt like Skullmeister was generically better. Yeah. It hits way more things, and so you would just side this in when you. When the mm -hmm. If you need it. Uh, three Crow, this is also generically good. Like I said, sometimes our uh, locals has tons of strikers, so this is good against striker, anything that needs to go in the graveyard for anything. Yep. I didn't side it in once today, but in theory it's there. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of where it gets a little weird. So I have the three MST, two twin, 
and then one cosmic. Okay. Uh, so this could be the third twin. Sometimes like the discarding one just kind of sucks. Yeah. So I just wanted six like reactionary spells to uh, for like <laughs> order and stuff like mm. anti spell. And then uh, twin is also just good because getting rid of two like when you like have card advantage is just really nice. Yeah. And then three shared ride for this is just really good going first because uh, this deck goes second. I go second with it. Mm -hmm. So if I anticipate they're gonna make me go first, I'll side this in because a lot of decks add. Yeah. So you just get a lot of card advantage. I don't. Sometimes it'll like force them to like not play it much. And mm -hmm. this I resolved it once and it actually did kind of come up. The card I drew, I drew into a Veiler, which let me do the access code play the next turn. So nice. That is the list. All right. Uh, what were your matchups today? So round one, I played the King's Court, like... King's Knight yeah, deck. Yeah, the, the poker deck, okay. I guess. Uh, round two, I played Dinos. Mm -hmm. Round three, I played Grave Keepers. And okay. then round four, I played Prank Kids. All right. Uh, I guess last question I have. Is there anything you'd change about this particular list going forward, or do you like it as is? Um, I kind of like it as is. Um, the Pranker Tops may be something I'll change in the future, mm -hmm. because it, it's, you know, one of, maybe there's something that could be a little bit better in that slot. But I, you know, I like it. I've made this list a couple nights ago. I told everybody I believed in my deck today, and yep. we came through, so. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you very much for the profile. No, thank you for Congratulations, having me. Congratulations, guys. You. Again, I'll leave a link to his Twitch down in the description. Toss him a follow. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, We're going to go signing out. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, a huge shout out goes to all of the channel members that support this channel, but a huge thanks goes to our Divine Level channel members, and they are Cadillacs84, Pony Stark, and Keith Siggers. Thank you guys so much as always for your continued and extremely generous support of this channel.